Every time I see a butterfly, I think of her. She, I know she has been with us and guiding us this entire trip. And I think it's what helps her father get up every morning when he's really, really tired and get back on that bike. Jordan was one of those special kids. Uh, valedictorian of our high school class, an athlete, a beautiful young woman, but more importantly, somebody who really wanted to help other people at every turn. And anytime you lose a child, um, there's lots of ways to react to that. So this is our way of contributing to our community that we live in, that uh, we are now a part of as a result of our daughter uh, dying by suicide in March of 2012. The bike is an absolutely fabulous conversation starter. You know, people are curious when you're out in the middle of nowhere and then these strangers show up on bicycles. It enables you to have a conversation that you wouldn't ordinarily have, because if you show up in a car, you're not that interesting. You show up on a bike, and you're really interesting. People can't help but come up to you and ask what in the world we're doing. So Light the Trail ride is a 3,700-mile ride starting in Fort Clatsop, Oregon on September 3rd of this year. We're riding the Lewis and Clark Trail all the way to St. Louis and from St. Louis to Washington, D.C. will arrive there on November 11th on Veterans Day. We are riding across the country to spread awareness of the importance of depression research, to meet with people and groups to share our story, but more importantly, to listen to their story. And I will tell you that uh, on this ride uh, so far, there hasn't been a community that we haven't ridden into where we haven't gotten stories back about people who have lost loved ones to suicide and people who have loved ones that are suffering from mental illness. The major goal of the ride for me was starting conversations. When you start to talk about our mission and mental health and suicide prevention, the stories flowed. And we've said nine out of 10 of those conversations, people had a story, a personal story of losing someone to suicide, of years of battling of depression. You know, depression is something that you hide. And having a suicide in the family is something that you're ashamed of in the past. And it's just hard for people to open up about those things because it's so deeply personal. When you have conversations, you fight stigma, you erase stigma. People who otherwise wouldn't have seeked treatment, seek treatment and you prevent suicide. Uh, we've asked people around the country to get online and share their story about the loved ones that they've lost. And we have not had a day go, go by yet where we haven't had someone that we've honored because it reminds us of why we're doing what we're doing. When it takes you 10 weeks to get across it on a bike, it, everything slows down and what you really truly appreciate is the vastness and the scale and the diversity of both the people and the landscapes and just how amazing this country truly is. You know, the uniqueness of traveling by bike is you really have time with your thoughts and your perspectives of it in a much different way. Uh, being on the bike for me on this trip has really made me stronger mentally and physically. I've gone distances longer than I've ever gone before, and that's very empowering. The team dynamic has been something that I don't think any of us could have expected. We've formed these bonds, not only with each other, but with the drop-in riders who have joined us as well. It truly has been unbelievable truly has been and as emotionally raw as it all is I do it all over in a heartbeat the whole thing you just have to trust that the act is going to impact people in ways that ultimately are positive hopefully we've been able to accomplish some things 
that will have made Jordan proud. We can do better. We can start talking about mental health at young, young ages. I hope we are going to, as the foundation says, bring this conversation to light. Every conversation we've had, everybody, you know, we knew that there was a story. But the level and depth of impact that the decision to take your life has on families and communities around you. I want people to think about this ride and think about mental illness and depression and suicide prevention. That's the mission. We've got to start talking about it. We've got to give it more focus. We've got to provide more resources. We've got to find ways to help people that are suffering better than we do today.